The best thing about Queensboro is its name, Queensboro Community College. That's the thing I love about it, the fact that it's a community. The most fun thing about Queensboro is the professors. I love to interact on a personal level with professors. I love Professor Sporer. She's taken a keen interest in me since my first semester and she's been a really motivational person for me. I grew up in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, Jamaica. The rainfall in Jamaica, that's one thing that I always appreciate. It was very calming. My favorite dish is stew chicken and fried breadfruit. I always appreciate when my dad made it. When I was little, I was very quiet. Over time, my parents pushed me into public speaking. It took practice, it took a lot of uncomfortable conversations for me to become more at peace with interpersonal conversations. My mom, she went overseas and then it was just me, my brother and my dad. My dad was very strict when I was growing up and so we would always be at it. But today I really appreciate it because in Jamaica we tend to have a lot of high school dropouts and I am the only one in my family on both sides that actually completed high school. I decided I wanted to be a lawyer. I decided decided that I would go to college in America. My dad, when I was departing from Jamaica to Queensboro, an advice he gave me was to be open-minded, to embrace everyone. I really appreciated that. It helped me navigate through this society. My dad was strict when it comes to how I would live. My mom was very adamant in terms of who I become. She would always encourage me to travel the world, meet people, be the best you can be, go after your career. In my first semester, I would only come to campus, go to class, and then go home. I really knew no one. I had no friends. It was disheartening. I decided that I don't want the same to be said for another student. That's what made me want it to be a part of the student government body. They needed a secretary. There were some things that I wanted to change on campus. It takes time, it takes process, it takes determination, and that is what I'm about. I decided to run for president. I want to be a strong advocate for international students. On a regular day, I try to be up by 5.30, even though it's hard. I try to leave home by 6, where I have to take the B35 bus, because I live in Brooklyn. I will transfer to the queue, then go to Times Square, and then, you know, from the 7 to Flushing, where I then take the Q27 to school. Then I go to class. Once I get out of class, I will be in my office, following up on emails, speaking to students, meeting with my board, communicating with admin, stay in the library and do work until 11. And I get home by like 1-ish almost two. There's not much rest that I get. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta make sacrifices and so these are the sacrifices that I make because I know where I want to go. My goal is to be someone that advocates for people that don't have that voice to speak up for themselves. You gotta show up, speak up, aspire to inspire.